Okay, here's a fucking YouTube video for you. <laughs> Ever had people who say to you, um, can you do something for me? And you go, yeah, sure, you know, and then you go and do it for them. And um, you drive around and you spend like, you know, seven hours driving on the road and with the petrol in. And then they kind of sort of expected you to be doing that for like free, you know. Ever had that? They kind of just assumed you were going to do it, you know, for free. And like, you know, you've put off work and lost money because you've done this for them and you spent several hours doing it for them and then you've got your petrol costs and things like that. And, you know, you quite respectfully sort of have to point out that, you know, this has put you out of pocket. So would they, you know, mind kind of paying? And they kind of, you know, like argue then about the amounts and you know well you know is it really that much and you have to like explain to them you know like it's 140 miles and you know that's going to cost you about 20 30 quids worth in petrol and you know you're not charging them for your time and just charging with the petrol you are doing it as a favor but you know you don't want to be out of pocket for doing it um, and that's not covering you know other things like you know your costs away if you have to go and eat something you know out which costs you more money because you've had to buy it in a garage you know you don't you don't factor things like that in when you do stuff so you know you know any people like that do you know sort of people that kind of expect you to do things and then like do you know people who kind of want to come round and sort of they say oh you know um, I want to come round for the weekend, and you go, yeah, okay then, and they're like, oh, will you come and pick us up, and I'll go, yeah, right, then I'll come pick you up, and I say, but look, you're going to have to pay the petrol, because, like, you're calling this on, yeah, so you go, yeah, okay, and then they come, and then they're like, oh, I'm really hungry, and you go, well, do you want to buy some, do you want to go and get some chips or something, and they go, oh, I haven't got any money, so it's like, then you end up feeding them, and then they, you know, you go out, and they haven't got any money for any drinks. You end up buying them drinks. And then they're sort of like, oh, I wish I had some drugs. I wish I could have some drugs. I'm really bored because I ain't got no drugs. And then so you're like, well, I suppose I could go and get some for you, you know. But it's going to be like, you know, it's going to, you know, it's going to cost whatever it's going to cost. So we'll go and see a friend. And then you take them to a friend. And um, so they can get their stuff, their fix, because they're fucking desperate, you know. And then they go and buy some bloody dope or whatever off your friend. And then uh, then they sort of like quibbling. Then going, oh, well, it's a lot of fucking money, isn't it? And fucking lot of money, like, you know, for that fucking thing. Can I just get a half? And I'm just like, oh, for fuck's sake. Do you really have to get a half? You know? And they're like, well, you know. Uh, and it's like, well, I've only got like this much money. And, and I could have spent that on, on the food. And I could have spent it on the drink. But but actually, I just wanted to spend it on the drugs. And, 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 and uh, so, so can you, can you kind of like, you know, help me out? And it's like, fuck's sake. So, you, you know, you're just basically paying for these people to have a free fucking ride. And then, of course, they don't seem to understand then. They don't quite get it when you know they ring you up again and sort of want to come out again and you go well i'm kind of busy really you know got other things on you know like fucking stabbing myself in the eye with a fucking needle you know very busy it takes a lot of um time and preparation to go stabbing yourself in an eye with a needle um do you have people you know like that you know um people who uh, say to you you know when you're going somewhere and you say look would you want to come on you know do you want to We'll all share going down to a place and then you go down there and then when you get there, they all spend their money so that by the time that you go back and you say, well, have you got money? And they're like, oh, actually, I've got no money. I've got no money now. No, no, I haven't got any money now. So you just end up paying for their free fucking trip. Um, ever have any friends that kind of like, um, you know, quibble, quibble on, you know, basically um, going to a drug dealer, you know? And whether it's the, you know, you, you know, not my friends, like you might, you might even witness them say ringing up somebody and like on the phone, yeah, people like this on the fucking phone to a drug dealer going, have you got any grass down the phone? You, you know, like have you got any grass? And then people are like, uh, yeah, yeah, I got some grass, or well, or some of that resin, or some soap bar, yeah, on a mobile phone to the drug dealer, on a mobile phone. No code words, no subterfuge, just asking for drugs like that over a mobile phone. 
and then quibbling with them on the price, yeah, quibbling with them on the price, and when you get there to this person's house, and then you go in and you sit down, and they're there for 20 minutes, and they go, well, can I just have a quarter, because I don't really want, you know, I just want a quarter. So they've spent, like, they've, they've fucking quibbled with these people on the phone, right, they've used terms that identify them as a drug dealer, right, they've quibbled on the price, right, and then the best bit is, they ask them for what is known in the UK as tick, yeah, can you put it on tick, which means, can I have this as a loan, right? I'm not even going to pay you for it, I want you to add it to my bill, yeah, and I want you to just create a racked up bill, right, for my drugs, ever met people like that? Have, do you know any people like that? Do you know? Have you got any friends like that? Have you, you know, sort of spent time with people like that? And the best bit, and this is what I wanted to discuss, right? I mean, you know, if you want to discuss in the comments, having people like that, knowing people like that, right? Witnessing people like that, right? And you know, please do in the comments. But this is the bit I really want to discuss. This is the important bit, the bit that I'm actually looking for comments on, right? If you know people like that, right? If you know people who expect credit from a drug dealer, right, tick, yeah, credit from a drug dealer, why is it, right, do you find, have you ever noticed with these people that it's almost like a psychological fucking need, a need for the credit, whether they've got the money or not, they probably have got the money, but they don't want to spend the money, they have got it, or they could get it, but that's not the point, what they want is credit. That's what they want. They want the credit. Yes? They want it on tick. There's like a need. And you can see it oozing from the person. And you know, it's like that's half of the deal. It's they want the drugs, but they want the credit. The credit's the really important bit because it it's almost like a um a psychological need to affirm within this person that they're worthy that they deserve it or that they they can they can beg it and get it yes and and I want to know what people think about that because I find that a really sad characteristic in a person um, needing to beg for credit for something and you're not even asking for the full amount it's like you know can I have can I have quarter of a ticket to my destination please I need to get to Scotland but I, I want to pay for a quarter of the price of a ticket to Scotland and and I want it on credit, yes? So it's like, you know, it, it beggars fucking belief, you know? It beggars belief, and I just wanted to know in the comments what people think about people that behave like that, okay? I mean, just what you think about people's mental states and why they feel a need to behave like that. Is it a, a parent thing? Is it like a, trying to treat the drug dealer like a parent? You know, and trying to sort of, you know, uh, extract out of the parent, like, Mommy, I want a sweetie, I want a sweetie, I want a sweetie, 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 Mommy, I want a sweetie, I want a sweetie, Mommy, I want a sweetie, Mommy, why won't you give me the sweetie, why won't you give me the sweetie, give me the sweetie, I want the fucking sweetie, yeah? Is it that? Is it a parenting thing? Or is it that um, perhaps people have just got some sort of, you know, mental problem? I mean, I can't, I can't get my head around it. Can somebody please explain this to me, how that works? And um, I'd be very interested in your comments. Thanks very much.